I'm going to crack straight on with the unboxing of this Cloverleaf Pond Heater. This is the one kilowatt version. Uh, so let's have a look at the box. So waterproof rating, connection types. There we go. Available models gives you the weight. It does feel quite light actually. And the the, the weight, width, dimensions, and whatnot. <clears throat> There's a little diagram there of the of the pump sizes. I'll just zoom in on that for you. It's not very clear, but hopefully you can see that. So the box is all the same. I've already opened it, as you can tell. <clears throat> Here we are. So first thing on top, there is a update to the instructions to talk about the flow switch. I will come back to those in a second once we've gone through the rest of the box. So we've got a bag of bits. There's the pump unit itself. <clears throat> and oh, is that just the instruction manual? Yep. So we'll come back to that in a second. So here's the main unit. Flow diagram there, LED light, which I think shows you when it's on or off. Thermostat. Oh, it's, it's clicking up between, yeah, about 18. And that's what my, my central heating set at. So that's promising. There must be a fuse in there. It's that side again, flow direction. And there's the cable. It says in the manual that the cable is about a metre and a half long. I'm going to measure that just to check. Um, mounting points. Now, I've seen on a couple of other reviews, you can't actually get to those easily with a screwdriver. And also, I've noticed that, um, look, the, the, the uh, attachments on the sides sit above the level of that. So you're going to have to always put something on the bottom before you mount it. So there is the details on the top. Power rating, wattage, and obviously important safety information. You can see, I think this, this I'm not going to touch it too much, but this here I think is the, the flow switch. And then this side, so you can see the heating element and presumably the thermostats in there. So there's the main unit. We have here, oh, sorry, <clears throat> bag of bits. got so got two stepped hose tails there i'll measure them in a second and then these are the the fittings that go on the side now they got two, basically two of everything here haven't we there we go so these bits have got rubber seal around the edge fit in there obviously two of those which then screws onto the side, like so. Um, and then these are, again, two of those adapters to go in there, so that then it will take one of the hose tails. Now, um, I picked this up uh, off of Amazon, but I did pop into my Koi dealers, because actually one thing to think about when you're installing this, and you'll see this, um, if you have a look at my other videos and my little filter house setup, don't actually have a lot of room. So one thing to think about, if you're using these with the hose tails, is actually that's quite long now. So you need to make sure that you've got enough length in there for all of that. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to get my tape measure and I'm going to take a few measurements of these so you know what pipes these hose tail takes and how long that overall dimensions are. Be back in a second. All right, back with my tape measure. So to go from one end of the hose tail to the other, you're talking 40 centimetres. There you go. And obviously every one of these you take off is two centimetres. So I shall let you work that out for yourselves. Um, I have measured the cable. Now it terminates with these little rings here. So obviously you're gonna have to, if you want to into a, some sort of plug, chop them off. It's one and a half metres from there, right to the tip of these bad boys. So. Yeah, probably by the time you've got a plug on here, if you're gonna trim it back down to here, I mean, you've lost nearly 10 centimeters off that. So just to bear that in mind. Here we go, got my trusty ruler. 
So measuring these, we've got 20 mil, 25 mil, I'd say that's 32 and 38 mil hoses for the hose tails. Okay, this next bit's not strictly something that's in the box, but just something that I wanted to add. So, because I'm tight on space in my little filter cupboard, whatever it's called, I haven't got this much length. So what I've actually done is I've popped down to my little coy dealers and I've got a 90 degree bend. So actually what I'm gonna do is still use the hose tail, but I'm just gonna put a bend on it so that then it gives me a little bit more flexibility. So just to think, you know, it might not be, you know, there are ways around these things. And that's the attachment that I've bought. So again, not in the box, but if you're thinking about installing one of these, something to think about. I will give you another couple of measurements on these, just in case it's useful to you. But the internal diameter of the, of the main fixer, and you can see there, it's not great, is 50 mils. So whatever that is in inches, two inches, just under two inches. All right, and then you put the adapter in here, which is supplied, and then the internal di dynameter of that is, get the light on that, I think we're talking, oh, I can't read it, 43, 43 mils, inches, I don't know what that is. Is that one and three quarters? It also came with this piece of paper in the top of the box in a very prominent position, which reads, important information, please read. So I shall now present this to you, good old Star Wars fashion. I can't even attempt to hum the uh, intro music, but I'm sure you can hear it in your, in your brain. So there we go. So that's just summarising that they've changed how the flow switch works, which again, I had read on a few reviews. Oh, there's a lot more information here. So I shall hold this up to the camera so, and just pause here just for a second so that should you wish, you can just have a little read because I didn't see this information anywhere on the internet when I was originally looking for one of these, but it basically just talks about installation a little bit more information on how to wire it in um, and also how the kind of the flow sensor and, and uh, LED and stuff works. So that's that. <clears throat> Lovely. Here's the instruction manual. It covers both the one kilowatt and two kilowatt versions. So on the front here, just give you a quick little close up of those little figures. I think they're probably relevant to the inside. Open up. So they cover off installation instructions, obviously safety information, how to set it up or control it. Controls prior to initial start up, start up and maintenance and storage. And then on the back, we've got the technical data and the dimensions. Um, this one is the one I've got is the one kilowatt version. Um, but looking down here, it looks like some of the pipe dimensions, internal dimensions, are different between the one kilowatt and the two kilowatt version. <clears throat> Excuse me, so I should just... Whoop. There's another couple of diagrams in there, which are obviously relevant to the main instructions. Oh, this little guy's finger here, that's quite cool. Uh, and there's just a little bit of a close-up there on the, on the heater dimensions. Here we are. And there is everything you get in the box, all laid out for your unboxing pleasure. Hope you found this video useful. Please give me a like and a subscribe. I will be doing a video on me installing this in just a moment. And obviously a review once I've got through the winter months and I've used it for a bit. So thanks for watching. Take care and see you soon.